Ba -bum. Ah, hello and welcome to my channel, Beardy Vlogger. My name is Mick, and today I'm super excited to reintroduce you guys or bring you guys to a company that is new to me called Nicholas Beardworks. We're going to do a very quick first impression where I'm just going to try out the scents that I got here. One of the things that I uh, have, I actually won on the Beard Trend Reviewers live stream, which is the Royal Oud. Uh, so I'm really excited to try that one out. And then just to help with the shipping for Alex, I purchased a couple uh, a couple extra items and, and paid for the shipping and those items as well. So thank you, uh, Alex and the Beer Trend Reviewers for the win. And um, let's go ahead with the first impression. All right, so what do we have here? We've got some samples here. So thank you for including these, Alex. I definitely did, did not purchase these. I really do appreciate that. This is the London. Wow, the London is, is a, it's like a very, it's like a musky sweet scent, the dark side. This is the one that everyone is saying in the Beer Trend Reviewers live stream that they didn't like, so I'm curious to see if I'm going to enjoy this. Okay, so the dark side has some muskiness to it too. It's definitely a musky scent and I get a little bit of, I can't remember if they talked about it in the, in the live stream, but I'm definitely getting a bit of a smokiness uh, to it, but it's not like, you know, when you've, when you've been camping or whatever and you just got the like you just smell like smoke it's very it's very light i think i might actually enjoy that one i might actually buy that one in a in a larger non-sampler and this is summer 2020 this is definitely a nice fresh scent it's uh it's got a bit of soapiness to it so if you like those kind of scents that's what the summer 2020 is so thank you for those samples I am actually really digging the dark side, Alex. So, so don't care what the beer trend reviewer has said. I like the dark side. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna buy some more of that. I gotta rip this off here. Oh my God, this royal oud. Wow. I wonder what else is in here. I guess we'll cover it in the review. This is a very nice oud. I've never smelt an oud like this before. I don't see any kind of a dropper top or anything in here yet, so I guess I'm gonna be pouring it out. Uh, I might use one of my dropper tops from another beard oil. Never mind. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a spray there's a spray top here, so that's what we'll be using. I've got the Lucky Viking in a bomb. Or was it a butter? No, it's butter. Premium butter. I don't have my trusty knife on me, so I'm using my trusty teeth, which my dentist told me to stop doing. <laughs> okay, so that's the butter. It's, uh, it's definitely not a whip butter, and it's not exactly melting down very quick. Like it, it doesn't seem to come out of the tin like super easy, but it is melting down very quickly so oh wow this is I wonder what's in here he doesn't have the scent profile on here so we're just gonna have to figure it out after it's definitely a cologne type scent for me welcome back guys so now that I've used these products for a couple of weeks I just want to touch on the scent profiles a little bit because there's a bit of a difference between first impression and like what, what's actually in these products. So I just want to go over the ingredients list for this uh, Royal Oud for you guys to so get an idea of what the scent includes. For the Royal Oud on their website, it says that it's a smoky oud enriched with sandalwood, amber, saffron, incense, and rose. It's, it's definitely a very, very nice oud that uh, you're going to want to try out. I'm interested to see how this compares to their uh, regular just oud wood scent, so I'm probably going to try that out uh, down the road here and see how it can compares to their Royal Oud. Now the Lucky Viking, which I purchased in the butter, so on the website it says that it's a fresh scent of rose, pepper, bergamot, peppermint, sandalwood, vetiver, and patchouli. Now I'm from Canada and it's actually really nice outside for the first time in a really long time. So what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna head outside and we are gonna talk about the pricing outside. Hey guys, so this is one of the three nice days out of the year that we get in Canada, so I wanted to share the outdoors with you guys. The Royal Oud, from what I can tell, is part of the their special edition line, and it looks like it's only available 
um, if you purchase it in like the oil and butter combo and um, the, the price for that is $75 but with that you get a two ounce oil and you also get a two ounce butter. The Lucky Viking which I purchased separately that was $25 for two ounces. So if you're going with the regular line uh, it seems like the oils and the butter is going to be roughly in that $25 range but if you go into their special edition or prestige line then it's going to be a little bit more expensive and the reason for that is because you're getting they're using different quality oils in those um, in those special and prestige lines but also you get a completely different bottle like you get these um, let's just quickly go to the website here you get these like really nice bottles that are different from their standard bottles and that's kind of you're paying for uh, what I would consider almost like a collector item like this is the kind of thing that you would not get rid of on your shelf even after you run out uh, yes my favorite time of the day feeling beer time so here's the thing guys this company has been the best feeling beard that I have ever experienced. Now, I'm not someone who's tried hundreds of products, but I am someone who's tried about 30 or 40 different products, and I thought I had what was a company that would never be surpassed in feeling beard. I'm not gonna name the company, but I think you guys know who I'm talking about if you've been a subscriber for a while. This is, this is honestly the best my beard has ever felt um, in terms of softness, like, these products from Nicholas Beardworks just do a really amazing job at softening my beard. The oil uh, and the Royal Oud that I got, and I think this actually, what happened here is I actually won the I won the oil on, on a giveaway from the Beer Trends reviewers, and uh, I talked to I talked to Alex and I said that I really want to try this oil Royal Oud, and I think he put it in this bottle for me. Um, the Royal Oud actually comes in a completely different bottle than this bottle so I just want to make sure that I'm not confusing anyone when I'm showing off this bottle and talking about the Royal Oud. The Royal Oud comes in one of those like skeleton type bottles. And then this is the butter that I got and the butter is the Lucky Viking. One thing that I did find with the butter and because uh, it is it's not a whip butter it's uh, it's a poured butter uh, I did find that it came in a little bit coarse uh, it, it, it took a little bit to break down so normally with a butter I go like that and it's broken down but as you can see it's not broken down I store my all my beard products down here in the basement and I find that poor but pretty much all the poured butters that I use are like this but once you melt it down it melts down uh, just it takes a little bit longer than usual to melt down and it does a fantastic job in the beard this product has just been absolutely amazing for me. I, I cannot say enough about Nicholas Beardworks. If you have not tried them yet, if you think that you have found that product that is absolutely like the best for uh, softening your beard, I challenge you to try these guys and let me know if whatever your like best feeling beard was actually challenges this if it's if it's actually better because I would love to try it if there's something that would soften my beard somehow make my feel better than Nicholas Beardworks has. I definitely want to try that product out. So let me know in the comments below if you have tried Nicholas Beardworks and if you've tried something that is uh, a better softening, conditioning, uh, oil and butter combo, uh, let me know. <laughs> I must try it out. So we talked about the scent profile, the price, the feeling beard overall. This company is definitely worth trying. Uh, this is... Uh, this is one of the companies that I'm definitely going to go back and try more of their products. I can't wait to try more scents from Nicholas Beardworks. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next week. I also do informative videos. Um, so check those out by checking out my uh, main page. So check those out by checking out my main. So check those out by checking out my main page on YouTube.